Welcome to the Perfection Selection, a Cream of Cards TV. Do you like collecting? Then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the like button because it does something very special. It makes you younger. Later on in this video, I'm going to show you how to personalise your own trading card pages, your, your plastic wallets or uh, whatever you want to call them. Uh, card storage might not be the sexiest thing in the world, but it's essential if you don't want your cards to be damaged uh, so that they have the best chance of fetching top dollar if you so decide to sell them in the future. I like to store my cards in these convenient, flexible plastic pages. These pages come in two main kind of sizes, the American friendly size and the smaller British one. I'm a Brit so I tend to go for the British ones and they're subdivided into 10 pockets, 6 pocket for larger cards and then 4 pocket and 2 pocket for postcard size and a similar kind of setup for the American pages. When you're buying pages it is important that you make sure that the plastic doesn't have any potentially harmful plasticizers in there. It's not advisable to uh, use old original slotting albums uh, these days either because they have a habit of leaving unsightly corner marks and indentations on the corners of the cards which can drastically reduce their value. Don't throw the old albums away though because some of them are becoming collectible in their own right. Just don't put the cards inside them. I always wanted to have my own design embossed on my personal plastic pages. But to do that you'd have to have them specially manufactured and that would cost thousands. But I came up with a cheap alternative and an even more stylish way of doing it. You can simply slot in uh, transparencies with your own uh, design your own logo on them so that it looks as though it's uh, part of the actual page itself you design your logo using your graphic software uh, make sure that it's the uh, right proportions to fit the side slot on your pages and you simply repeat the design down and across so you can print it out onto an A4 sheet and make sure there are some guidelines or dots in this case so that you can easily cut uh, cut it with a guillotine. Now it's time to uh, take it down to your local print shop and have it printed on acetate like this and then you just cut it out and slot your finished transparency into the side slot. Hey presto, a professional looking plastic page ready to insert your cards in. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to check out my hundreds of other car collecting videos on my YouTube channel, including these four.